So welcome back to the Cozy Rosie Crochet channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to crochet the cotton grass face scrubbies. This is the third part of the cotton grass go crochet along. You can find the details of all the other patterns linked in the description box below for you and I'll try and add it in the top right hand corner for you as well. Now the final pattern is going to be this really cute kind of wash bag. You can use it as a soap saver but it also fits all your scrubbies inside nicely which is great for using it to wash your scrubbies and keeping them safe during in the washing machine now before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out none of my crochet tutorials or patterns again now the materials that we're going to be using for this design is um, our paint box yarns Aran cotton which is a size for worsted weight I'm going to show you this version where it's got the two colors in it and then the way I did it was I made two with the two colours and then one in each colour to make a complete set of four scrubbies. So I'm going to be showing you this two colour one today. My main colour is going to be this rosy pink, which is shade number 662. And then my main, uh, the contrasting colour in this pattern is going to be colour A, which is paper white. And I'm using two strands of double knit because I have run out of white Aran. <laughs> We're going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as we have for all the patterns within this collection. So gather all of your materials and let's get started. So we're going to be starting with color B for the collection, which is my contrast color, the rosy pink. And we're going to start by making a slip knot and then placing that onto our hook. And we're going to start by making a chain of four. So we yarn over the hook and put it through four times. Three and four. We're then going to slip stitch back into that first chain that we made, just under one of the loops. Slip stitch through and straight through the loop on your hook. And this will create a sort of ring. You may have to separate it a little bit in the middle to find the middle easily. And you need to avoid that hole don't want to go into that hole we're going to work directly into the middle of our ring so we're going to work directly in the middle working eight us half double crochets into the middle of this ring so we yarn over the hook insert making sure that we're working over our tail as well we yarn over bring our loop back through we yarn over and pull through all three loops so that's number one we yarn over Reinsert into the middle of that ring, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over and pull through all three for number two. Yarn over, reinsert, yarn over, bring your loop up, yarn over to pull through all three and that's number three. So one, two and three. We're going to yarn over for number four. Yarn over the number five, always working into the center of that ring. Yarn over, insert for number six. Yarn over, number seven. And then finally, yarn over, bring a loop up for number eight. To count your stitches when working in the round, look for the top of your stitch so we have one two three four five six seven and eight now we're going to join these rounds with a slip stitch we're going to go insert our hook underneath the top two loops of that first stitch that we made we're going to pull through and straight through the loop on our hook now if like me you've worked over your tail you should be able just to pull that tail and it will close the center of the ring for you. So going into round two, we're gonna start by making a chain of one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're gonna work directly underneath our chain into that first stitch and we're gonna be placing two US half double crochets into each stitch around. So we yarn over and we're inserting our hook into that hole, yarn over, bring a loop up, Yarn over, pull through all three, 
and we're working a second stitch into that same space again. So we yarn over, insert, yarn over to bring a loop up, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's stitch number one and stitch number two. We're working two half double crochets into each stitch around. So we're going to be doubling our stitch count from eight to 16. So we're going to repeat this all the way around, inserting our hook into the next stitch to work number one and yarning over, inserting into the same stitch for number two and repeating that all the way around. So we're working two half double crochets into each stitch around. So continue to work all the way around and your stitch count should be 16 at the end of round two. So I've just worked my final two half double crochets and just want to point out that this is not a stitch. It's actually your slip stitch from the previous close and join of the last round. So if you're ever unsure, it's worth counting how many stitches you have. So I count backwards, so I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, and there's number 16. So I don't need to work into there because I've already achieved my stitch count. So there is the chain one that we made. There's our slip stitch and there's our chain one. So we're inserting our hook into that first stitch that we made of round two, yarning over, pulling through, oops, and straight through the loop on our hook. So at the end of round two, you should have a stitch count of 16. Going into round three, again, we start with a chain of one, and this time we're gonna be working one stitch into the same stitch as our chain one. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over to bring our loop up, yarn over and pull through three. Oops, there we go. And then into the next stitch, we're gonna work two half double crochets. So we're working number one, yarn over again and reinsert into the same stitch to work number two. So this is a stitch pattern we're repeating all the way around. So we're working one half double crochet into the next, followed by two half double crochets into the next stitch along. So we're yarning over and working one half double crochet. And then into the next stitch, we're working two. So that's one and two, all worked into the same stitch. If you're ever unsure if you've only worked one or two, this stitch only has one and you can see that there are two lots of stitches coming out of that stitch there. So continue to repeat that all the way along, working one half double crochet followed by two half double crochets into the next and your stitch count is going to increase by eight. So we have a total stitch count of 24 at the end of round three. I've just worked my last increase of round three and then found my slip stitch. There's my chain one. And this is the first stitch of the round. So I'm just gonna insert my hook to slip stitch to join. So at the end of round three, you should have a stitch count of 24 half double crochets. Going straight into round four, we're gonna make our chain of one. And with this round, we're gonna work into that same stitch as our chain one, working one half double crochet, one half double crochet into the next, and two half double crochets into the next after that. So we yarn over and work one half double crochet into that same stitch as our chain one. We're working one half double crochet into the next. And then into that third stitch, we're working two half double crochets. So that's one and two into the same stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around, working one half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next, followed by two half double crochets and our increase into that next stitch. So that's one and two. So again, we're increasing on this round and our stitch count in round four is going to be 32 half double crochets. So continue to repeat that all the way around. So one single, half double crochet, the next stitch is one single half double crochet, and then that third stitch has two half double crochets worked into it. 
I'll meet you at the end of round four where we're going to be changing colours and working our final round. So I've just worked my final increase at the end of round four. There's my slip stitch, there's my chain one. So I'm going to insert my hook ready to slip stitch, but I'm not going to join with my current colour. I'm going to use this opportunity to change to my other colour. If you're working a solid colour, face scrubby, just continue to slip stitch as normal. And I'm just going to pull on my pink colour to cinch that closed. This means that we can then work our chain one in our new colour and just continue straight into round three. I've done my chain one just to give me a bit of security while I'm waiting to get started. So with round five, we're going to be working our sedge stitch, just as we've done in our other patterns. So we're going to start by working into the same stitch as our chain one, working our sedge stitch. We've done our chain one and we're reinserting our hook into that first stitch. I'm going to try and work over my tails as well. So we're yarning over to bring up to work our single crochet. Can tighten, I pull on those whites, get rid of that extra material there. And then we're yarning over and reinserting to work a half double crochet into the same stitch. We're pulling through all three loops. And then finally, we're going to reinsert into that same stitch again to work our double crochet. So pulling through two and pull through two. Move those tails out of the way because I can't carry them across because they'll be visible. Once we've completed that first sedge stitch, we're going to make a chain of one and then we're going to skip the next two stitches ready to work our next sedge stitch by our single crochet. We yarn over to insert for our half double crochet and then we yarn over, reinsert again for our double crochet. And we're going to finish with a chain of one. This is just going to give us a little bit of space in between these sedge stitches to make them look absolutely beautiful and to prevent our face scrubby curling in and getting a little bit too tight around the edge of our project. So we're working our sedge stitch with our chain one, half double crochet, and then our double crochet following it with a chain one, and then we skip the next two stitches, ready to start our next sedge stitch into the next stitch. So single crochet, half double crochet, followed by a double crochet, and then we're working a chain one, just to add a little bit of space. So continue to repeat that all the way across. So we skip one, two, and then we work our sedge stitch, followed by a chain one, and I'll meet you when you get back to the end of this round, ready to fasten off and weave in our ends. Don't forget that chain one, it's really quite important to stop your face scrubby curling in. So I'm just working my final chain one. So we're skipping this last stitch and then we're ready to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made to complete our final round. I'm just going to grab my scissors and fasten off. And then all that's left to do is to weave in those ends. And it's that simple to create this really cute, flowery looking face scrubby. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the other patterns that are included in the cotton grass spa set, including the next video, which is gonna to be to create your very own wash bag for your own scrubby set. I will see you in the next video.